March 13, it's moving day. I go to uh, an Airbnb now, it's like a little bit bigger and then I stay longer so I don't have to like keep moving. Um, and yeah, that's what we're doing today. Okay, we are all packed, ready to go. Bye, pea couch. Hey, welcome to the new Airbnb. So, entrance for my shoes. Then here we have the kitchen, gas stove, big fridge, and then here, which I love, there's a partition. Cuts out the sound. Then we have my bedroom, little TV area, microwave, Bed is really comfy. Then I have an extra bed. Then closet. And here we have the bathroom. Oh, squeaky die. Traditional wet room. Really comfortable. And yeah, I'm so excited. It's a while later and I'm really happy. In this um, in new Airbnb, I will be around like a month here which i'm really happy to just not have to like be moving around again and there's so much space good morning today is march 14th i think yeah okay so march 14th it's a sunday wanted to wish my brother-in-law a happy birthday and um what else i'm going out soon to a cute cafe I feel kind of tired. I usually never sleep well the first night that I stay at a new Airbnb, so kind of a zombie, but let's make the best out of it. <laughs> cafe was really cute and the drinks and like the little tart I had was really delicious so yeah happy about that and I kind of feel really tired just because I didn't sleep well but I might take a nap I just feel you know when you feel weird like you don't feel like yourself I think it's that hopefully I can sleep well tonight just get used to my environment I can do this Hi, today is March 16th, it's a Tuesday, um, it's a really nice day out so I decided to just explore a little bit and wait, have flowers. I heard that the government was just, um, oh, sorry, I'm out of breath. They started this initiative to like boost the morale of the people after being locked up from COVID, so this is so pretty. Probably have to do 
a separate vlog for that, not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. Nina's tips and tricks. Basically things that I didn't know how to do that you might find useful. So just a little subway tutorial. These machines here, this big one versus the smaller ones, this is where you can actually buy your card um, or like any convenience, but I just want to refill, so I'm gonna use the little machine. You can just pick the language. Mm -hmm. Destination. I just want to recharge, so reloading. Okay, so my bad. You're supposed to put the card before it goes right here. They only accept cash. So I'm just gonna put 5,000 for now. Just for the money. It's kind of hard doing it with one hand, but put in the money. It was spent. Just try to do it again. Now it works. Okay. So basically, it's just same for weight because the card is reloading. You will pick your change from there. And if you want a receipt, then you just remember to bring your card. Oh, oh man. Oh. Okay, so I kind of want to do like a haul of the things I got. Um, let me see the things I got at Daiso. Um, the haul will be like in the separate Daiso vlog just because it's like, can someone please explain why my water bottles always do the pop thing? Like, I know it's normal, but it just happens like a lot. Not sure why. Okay, focus. So, yeah, I'll do the Daiso haul in the Daiso vlog or like video um the other places i went to was olive young first thing i got was the acne patches with the little needles i already tried this and i do like them a lot because i do get a lot of cystic acne and i feel that basically it like stops it it does feel weird like a bee sting which is something i was talking with my sister but I got this one, then I got um, my favorite <laughs> my favorite oral rinse. I bought a different one, but it's I don't like the taste of it. This one doesn't really have taste, so I got my good old faithful. Then I got some heel balm because I'm doing so much walking that my feet are like insanely dry. Like, it's, it's insane. So I was like, I need a cream. I'm looking for a moist, it's not a moisturizer, this is a serum for acne prone skin. And I've basically just been using like a toner and some aloe cream they gave me, but it's okay. So I've heard a lot about Sika. Let me see if I can, well, this is a little picture. Sika and it's from the brand Cosrx right here and it has the serum and I think it had a also it's like a little toner so both of this came together and I think I paid $16 for this. The thing you should know about Korea is that they have a little sample and behind it they just have like the product and there was one that had like the one I have that has these little thingies and then one that like basically was like this 
and I saw this and I'm like I asked her like what's the difference she's like oh this one has like free samples and I'm like okay <laughs> so I took the free sample one so I decided to do a voiceover for my Zara haul just because while editing I found myself justifying the purchases and the truth is I'm very careful with my money and I don't usually like splurge on certain items but it's good to treat yourself sometimes so that's why I just wanted to come over here and just show what I got and not feel guilty about it um so the first item is this very cute top it's a crop top but I do like that it has elastic so it won't be like riding up whenever you lift your arms and I do love the color I think for spring it's totally going to be perfect and then I also got this really cute but simple black tube top and then it has just very thin spaghetti straps and what I liked from it is that I can just either wear it underneath a shirt just so you know people can't see like my bra or whatever so I thought that was like a really important piece and then I don't know why like I was totally wanting something with stripes and then I saw this really cool like t-shirt kind of style and it's cut to the shoulder part so it's it doesn't like fall across like your arms and I like that it's cinched also in the waist I think that's a really cute style since I really like this style, I also got it in black. I feel that you can just wear it day or night and it's just perfect for any occasion. And for the last item I got are these amazing wide leg jeans. I had actually seen them on YouTube. I follow a girl called Rachel Radke and she tried them on. And actually when I was at the store, I didn't know these were the pants. Like when I tried them on, I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, they're really wide at the bottom and it just gives a really stylish look. Um, I didn't expect to fall in love with them, but yeah, I'm kind of obsessed. Anyways, I am including a link down below with all the items I purchased just in case you wanna check anything out. So I finished my Daiso haul. That's why I have this on my head. I want to taste this thing. It smells like... Like hazelnut almost. Um, it was so fun how she was just like, oh, smack it. Actually, I got, I got close to the... Because I was so curious. Like, there's this giant ball of thing. And I'm like, what is that? So she came to say hi. And I was like, hey. <laughs> hi back. And then I sm uh -huh. smash. One more. One more. Okay. And I'm gonna taste it now. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm still chewing. You imagine if I would have eaten this one? Let me show you like on the inside. It tastes like like a cone, like an ice cream cone. Nutty, obviously like it has dark chocolate. Anyways, point is I like it. Oh. Hi, Editing Nina here. Just filming the outro and wanted to take a few seconds to mention something that's really important with what's going on. Obviously, I don't want to enter like certain topics about politics, but I do believe it's important to mention all the hate crimes that are currently happening. Um, specifically, we've seen recently in the media um, from attacks to the Asian community and Basically, I just want to let everyone know that we are bigger than people that are committing these crimes. 
and that we should just keep supporting our Asian communities, our Black communities, Latino communities, and continue to try to stay strong, stay together. And yeah, my heart goes out to the families of, of the victims. And it's, it's sad, you know, that the world is evolving, supposedly, and these things continue to happen. So you're the change, you know? If you see something that's going on and it's not okay, you have a voice. So yeah, love for everyone.